Hey guys, today we're doing another tutorial on Sony Vegas, and this is the ripple effect. This is probably one of the easiest effects you can use in say a montage, edit, or just for having fun. So the first thing we're going to do is drag in our content as I've already done, and as you see I've marked all the places where I've shot. So let's, uh, let's watch the clip. Now I've marked all the places where I've shot or killed people and that's where we're going to put the ripple. Okay so what you're going to need for the ripple is an actual shockwave or anything that you want the ripple to represent. So so it could be a bullet effect. Okay so I'm going to give you two options. Uh, you can look around online for like shockwaves or anything but these are just a few options that I have. So there's this one and this one. And there's a shockwave. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna add a video track over our content we want the ripple to be on. And we're going to add the video track. So, so I shoot here, it's going to be a circle like that. It doesn't matter about the black background, okay. Easiest part of the tutorial. Simply press on compositing mode and press custom. Then select height map. And then just leave it like this, okay? This is my settings, you can play around with it if you want, but this is exactly how I have it. So you just add it on and that's it. Now when I shoot, it looks a bit like this. As you see, there is that ripple effect. And if I add that onto every single shot, it will look like this. As you see. So you can add any kind of ripple effect. I like, well, I prefer the shockwave effect, which is really cool. Gives it a shockwave effect. <laughs> That's why it's called a shockwave. So we're going to add these to every kill we get. Okay, let's watch this. It looks pretty good. I like it. So it's really easy to do. It doesn't take any plugins you have to download. It's all default. You just have to drag in anything you want to create the ripple effect with over the content and add the height map onto that video track or onto the actual video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please press the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.